In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Universal Series app with your Universal Series NVR or DVR. Here I have one channel connected to my NVR and I have it in main screen, just for an example. Now I'm going to move over to the phone app. Here I have the EasyView app already installed. I searched for it on the App Store or I clicked the link from our blog article. I'm going to open the app by tapping it. It's going to ask for some permissions. It's going to need to search our local network for the NVR, so we'll click OK. Sometimes there are increased features if we allow it access to our location. So we'll allow it while we're using the app. And then if we want push notifications, we're going to need to click Allow for notifications. It takes you to a neat splash screen, and you'll have to tap and drag to the right-hand side so you can get to the third panel. And then there's a Get Started Now button. We'll tap that Get Started Now button ask us to accept a service agreement and privacy policy. I'll click agree. There is a video tutorial to get started, but if you don't want to make an account, you want to tap out of the X button and then click the try now button. This means you don't have to enter any of your personal information or email address. If you have an iOS 14 or later iPhone, you may get this permission setting, in which case we've already enabled all the permissions and we can click OK. It says no device has been added. If you don't get this no device has been added message, you'll want to tap the plus icon on the grid screen. I'll click add to go to the add device screen. Here we can add without sign up by tapping the add without sign up option. It's going to ask access to our camera. We're going to allow it to access our camera so we can scan the QR code from our NVR. Now that we have the camera up, we can leave this notification up and go back to our NVR or DVR. To get to the QR code that we need to scan, I'm going to right click, click Menu, click the Maintain tab at the bottom left hand side of the NVR or DVR interface. And the first System Info tab has the QR code that we need to scan for remote viewing. So back on the app, I'm going to tap OK on the notification telling me to scan the QR code and then I'm going to pan my camera up to scan the code. It might take a second to scan the code and then we can enter in our device password. I'm using the factory default password that is found on a label on the top of your device. It is a secured password that does not need to be changed. I'm going to click the login button. I can give my NVR a name I'm going to name it Office, as this is our Office Universal Series NVR. I'm going to click the Add button. And now we've successfully added the device. To get to the Live View, we're going to tap the Menu option at the top left-hand side of the screen, and then tap the Live View button. To add the camera to our grid screen, we're going to tap one of these plus icons. We're going to tap on the Office DVR to expand it and then tap on the IP camera to bring it in. This is the only camera we have attached to our system at the moment, for an example. Hopefully this video gets you set up on the Universal Series app with your Universal Series NVR or DVR. Thank you for watching.